Hello and welcome back to Tawani's Pilgrimage. Today we're going to be doing the grounds part two. So in the last episode, which should have aired uh, an hour before this one, <laughs> uh, depending on how I schedule it, uh, we came in through here. Uh, we killed the name down there. We kind of went across here, went this way, killed the name over here and killed some stuff over here. Uh, we went over this way. Uh, at that point, I realized my... Uh, my mercenary was not following us because we had, uh, I hadn't marked myself as puller at some point. And that makes her not move. Uh, and then we got ourselves down here and then the, our tank mercenary had died. So what we're going to do, we're going to continue up this side over here. Make our way into the hedge maze and maybe up into this area. And, uh, that'll be the, all we do. So let's, uh, kind of go check this out. Let me make sure everything's here. I just buffed up. So we should be good. I am going to shrink. That's one thing I forgot. And you know what I'm going to do right over here. I am going to refresh. Destroy. And create. There sh should be a button to just do it once. <laughs> like macro all that. I don't want to deal with that every time. But uh, there you go. All right, so it looks like groundskeeper Shemus. I think he's the quest mob. He's up. Gardener, gardener. Da, da, da. There's a he's a mission mob. Never mind. Um, like Ona the keeper is up in there, but she doesn't look like she's a named. So I'm not gonna even bother with that. All right, Fainek is up, and Grith something is up i think he's a yeah he's a quest mob too all right so let's just make our way over here and see what we see passively right so let's get this living heat first we're looking for experience mostly all right we picked up the troublesome snake no matter what it's fun go And I her what does this actually do? So that's 10, 12. Where am I casting that at? Right there. Okay, perfect. I was curious about that one. That one doesn't knock it back, so we're good there. I was trying to get rid of all the knockback stuff left last episode and uh it looks like that one is not the knockback just dragon force right here so i can hit that and knock them back at will uh doesn't interrupt spell casting apparently <laughs> so, uh you know that is what it is there but let's see and that's another quest mob all right just kind of killing our way through this is fair i mean Compared to, I think, some of the other stuff, this is a fairly easy zone. I think we came here on Tulani at like 85, and we grinded here because we were over here in the, the maze area on these these two snakes, trying to get the uh, a weapon upgrade, I believe is what it was. So Definitely not something I would worry too much about here. And uh, I'm not going to do any of the missions uh, for House of Thule on these guys. I'm uh, prepping to do all those in the Sons of Thule series. And I just didn't want to like have duplicate content more than I'm already uh, already have, right? So they are all the uh, all those things are going to be in that in that series, questing and anything lore where I have to read be in that series and I'm, I'm still haven't decided if i'm going to put the beast lord with them or not but i'm thinking so i'm thinking it'll work out anyway beast lord with uh since they're all xr and they're all uh, except the bard and they're all uh kazakh tool it kind of make works out the only alternative would be that i uh what the heck <laughs> that i uh I kind of uh, change him back to his, you know, normal race, and and then go from there. But I don't really, I, I don't, I don't think I want to bring him back to an ogre and just 
start playing him again because he'd be in, he'd be here in the Thule, uh, you know, the House of Thule, and it'd be just even more duplicated stuff. At least with the Sons of Thule series, they're still in Seeds of Destruction, and uh, they will they will eventually make it to uh, here, but it's not. It's immediate, like, it's not gonna be a noticeable immediate thing for us. They gotta go through underfoot first. And that's... That's a whole... That's a whole mess there. Of, uh, content that is, uh... It's gonna take a while to go through. Alright, we're just kinda going around. I wanna... I think I wanna cut in here. No, we're gonna go straight. Keep going straight. There's a named up here that I see on the tracking somewhere around here. I don't know what it is, but somewhere around here. All right, she can somehow melee while inside the creature, so I'm gonna go with it. Seems legit. She's on auto follow anyway. There is a second mob somewhere. And I am going to have to work on the shaman and give her some more purpose in life. Uh, right now, she is very uh, underused because uh, we're just we're just destroying stuff so fast that slow doesn't matter. If it was instacast, maybe, but it's not. I don't think the slow is. Malice is not instacast. And it, before she even got to the next stage in her macro, it was dead. Alright, we got three. I think this will be fine. What are these? These are level 85 mobs, so they're not, I'm not like, worried. Healer's not even, or the tank's not even taking damage, so. It's even more of a joke, honestly. But I think there's some named over here, somewhere. There we go. And uh, I think the last episode I also said that the fear itself was a tier two. It is actually a tier three. And so, uh, yeah, it'll be a, that'll be a little bit of a harder zone. I like that zone personally. It's just it's a bear to get to. <laughs> so uh, might spend a little bit more time there than I planning around on right now when we get there because it is it is a bear to get to and I want to kind of look at all the whole zone is that a named no that is a quest mob do I already have the loot I do send that to a Keke all right, um, well, there's supposed to be a named right here. Right there. He's straight ahead, so... Straight ahead of wherever the bard is facing, so he's over there. Jeez, these things have a range on them. Look at this. All right. Wow. Oh, we got a named. All right. Heal. That, that. Uh, you're going to go in a mes mode. Lock all that stuff down. Come on. Hey, Mez, come on. What are you doing? I don't know. Maybe they're too high level for that. I don't know. Bone facade of uh, unbridled rage. 
So this is a Berserker mask, so I don't have a Berserker. But it is a nice weapon. Or, I mean, a <laughs> nice weapon. A nice uh, item, nonetheless. Probably be able to sell that for a little bit of money on the auction house. Bizarre thing. So, let's see. Alright, there is... He's not a name, he's a quest bomb. Now that that one's dead, we can kind of look at Tracky again. Bonesmith, she is a... She has a quest mob. I think these are all quest mobs. Barkley's a quest mob. Yeah, so let's just keep looking around here. Crazy aggro range here, so... There we go. Let's make our way around. So we're almost to this side. Uh, there's like nothing really here except for some frogs. We can run up in there real quick. Theoretically. <laughs> I'm trying to pull that bone crafter, but uh Not too concerned about it. Oh, never mind. I am concerned about it, but the uh, the tank died. Why did the tank die? That's the, that's the question. Where is where is the healer merc? All right, I'm trying to heal. Them. All right, let's go over here. There's my bard. There's my shaman. There's... There's the uh, DPS merc. Where on earth? She's right here, she's invisible. Okay, so that is, that is weird. I don't know, it looks like the actual Merc has been dead for a while. So, just didn't notice it until now. So yeah, something fishy there. I can't tell if she's actually gonna heal me. Let's see. Oh, and we got a new uh, discipline called Five Breaths, which is a replacement of the moment of placidity uh, that we had. So this is a new stamina regen kind of thing. And... Doesn't seem like it did much at all uh, for that. We also have Swift Tail's Chant, which gives us some more. Uh, gives us... I think a thousand uh, stamina, but uh, not really doing much there. All right, we kind of want I want to go over in this direction. So something I've you know I'm noticing now, right, is this uh, is the merc is not not really holding up, and this could. I don't know if it's going to be a problem long term. Like, I'm 90 and the shaman is 87. So it's a level 87 merc. And I'm a little bit stronger, I think, because I'm level 90. But at the same time, it shouldn't be this ridiculous, right? I don't think she should be dying as fast as she does. I, I can't taunt, so I gotta pretty much let this one beat on whoever it's beating on. Now, if that mercenary being invisible is a problem, that's gonna be not fun. But these things just melt, so I'm not really concerned. 
Got seven seconds till I can bring that uh, the tank back. I don't know what is up with her today. But uh, maybe someone will leave a comment on the video telling me exactly what I did wrong. There we go. All right. All right, I'm going to revive her. Do that. So let me click on her. So I can kind of see if she gets buffed besides anybody. Okay, now I can see the, uh, I can see my mercenary now. There we go. Can I click off? Uh... There we go. I hate levitate. All right. Uh, she needs uh, just a Talix, the only other spell. Like, Unity kind of takes care of everything, right? Uh, I, I don't think there's any much else that I can I cast on the Sham besides Unity and uh, uh, Tiger, so... I don't know if I'm missing something. There we go. And who owns the Rogue? I need to get rid of that. Flight of the Falcons on you. There we go. Now I can kind of see everybody. And we can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. So we're going to get this bone golem right here. Flip around. I'm just going to be a little bit more pass, not passive, but uh, active on my healing. With the shaman just to kind of make sure there's always a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff going out all right there is a name he is the rare spell rank sell spells there's a spell vendor somewhere around here all right i don't know which one is the placeholder for crocum uh might as well kill them all these frogs here to get him to pop and then uh should be good. So they're getting about two point or point two seven percent experience. Which uh honestly feels terrible. I don't feel like that is a very good experience. So we're going to uh just kill some of these frogs. And then we're gonna make our way back this way. Well actually we'll kinda skip this area, but we'll go up this way here. And go over here to the maze area where we spend a lot of our time with uh, Tawani early on in her uh, experience. Bags are just getting full of junk. All right, let's see. Take a look around here. There's a thorn frog. I think the wicked thorn. The Wicked Thorn Frog was the uh, placeholder. That's crazy. She is just taking damage. I have marked aggressive, so I don't know. All right. Um. No more frogs, so let's go back this way. Keep an eye on track. And uh, we'll come back down here if needed. But I want to get over to the other side. Now, we went that way, so we could kind of bypass some of this uh, junk over here. In between. There's still another named or two over there that we did, didn't get. I'm okay with that. Alright, let's get this bone crafter. Alrighty. Looking good. Alright, now we're over here into the, uh, the Scarecrow area. This is where we spent a lot of time. 
with uh, Tawani a lot of time. And uh, this is <laughs> what do we farm? Uh, one of our weapons. I don't think I'm, I'm even using it anymore. But we were here for a while. All right, these. I think I called these guys purified pepperonis, something like that. There's another wasp. See if I can get a heal out before she dies. Is my mercenary just not like healing her now? Is that like really what it's boiled down to? No, she has reliance. So she has like, she's getting buffed and she's getting healed. Just, I guess something just really did a lot of damage to her. All right, let's go this back way around the maze here. I don't need to kill these pepperonis. Uh, there is not a single name going off. All right. And I believe this is the snake placeholder for uh, uh, Slimexian. And just a random snake just shows up, knocking on our door, demanding, demanding we beat it to death. So strange. And I'm gonna fix all this stuff while we're waiting. I might actually uh, buy the Hero Forge thing so they can wear some of this stuff. Since we've gotten so much of it. I've been sitting in all the Nomer here just so I can... Before I decide what I'm going to sell, right? Try to inventory it all. I got way too many traders. Way too little space. Alrighty. So we can go over here to this aggressive snake. All these aggressive snakes, I think, are placeholders. And uh, the named snakes can spawn in those spots. I think that's what we discovered when we were here for uh, days. <laughs> I think this is when I was streaming this. And uh, we just sat here killing this stuff over and over again. And... Maybe we'll start streaming 20 again. I'm just not sure how I'll fit it into how I'm doing the series now. There we go, this stuff's just melting. Perfect. Get this aggressive snake here. Alright, so that is... Pretty much from the well all the way around and then over here to Crocom and then we went back this way and now we're over here on the other side of the base. I don't see any I don't see any named up at the moment. Yeah. So let's go up this way. Make our way through here to this section. Remember this section? <laughs> if you watch the series, you'll know this section. We spent a while here too. Uh, I think this is actually where I brought these guys here to power level them for a little bit. Because I couldn't find any mobs. Alright, let's make our way over here. Grab that guy. And if we look at tracking. Alright. Kaijiz? Where is he at? Oh, he's named. Alright. So he spawns over there, so we're going in the wrong direction. I don't know what he is, so that's make it a little bit more tricky. Let's go back this way. Let's kill this heap because he seems like he's going to be a problem.
go. We need to up our, uh, we need to up our platinum. These are mercenary times three. That's 300 platinum every 15 minutes. That is, it's going to be problematic at some point. There he is. He's that giant tree. All right. So we go back over here. Let's get this wasp. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You just decided to come attack us. All right. Uh, AOE Mez, whatever's up. Kilo of Kanji. And get some, uh, the turn off follow on her. I think some stuff is mezzed. I can't tell, honestly. I see an icon that looks like the mez icon on the Aqua Dervish there, but, uh, it's hard to tell. And now I can't even see anything because that giant tree's there. All right, um, let's look at the loot here in just a second. Are you singing? Come on, sing a song. All right, let's get them back on follow. All right, he dropped another mask. This one is a druid monk mask. Uh, we already have it. We already killed him. <laughs> so I didn't even remember him. Uh, let's just send it to Kedka. Oh, we finally got our first chest piece. Uh, or tier two, nice. Very nice. Desire. I've been desiring that for quite a while. <laughs> uh, that's nice. I don't know how long. Uh, I, I don't know. I have three sets of uh, tier 2 gear. Uh, tokens, I think, so far, maybe. Minus the breastplate. Maybe more. I don't even know. I've, uh... I have like a character that's just like loaded up with all this stuff because it doesn't really sell for much and I don't know if I, I want to use it for other characters that I'm leveling up. Alright, so according to tracking, I don't see... Oh, I do see some names. Alright. Okay, so the names are up down here, so we're going to make our way through the tunnel and head that direction. Maybe we can get uh, two more breastplates. Go. Come on. Junk. I sell like everything to a vendor. It's like 10k. Every video I get about 10k in uh, vendor stuff. Uh, I do send all the trade skill stuff to no regard though. Right. Swift Tails. Give us a little bit of a that respite. Nah, still not enough. Just gotta make our way around. This is another placeholder. Endurance regeneration is uh, quite an quite an issue. Now, it could be I'm just spamming this stuff blindly, but I try to wait like 30 seconds in between or so so it like actually wears off before I do it again but I don't know I might be just doing it too much there we go looking good so we're just gonna wrap up over on the other side over there this experience is just not worth it <laughs> <laughs> worth it for these guys right now. Ah, uh, they're almost 88 though, so. They're getting closer and closer to that magical point where, uh, good to go. All right, hate me? You don't hate me, perfect. I'm just gonna run around past you and 
deal with everything that attacked us. Uh, we're going to do an AoE mez, so... Bard should... There we go, that worked. So she AoE mez the snake at least. Hopefully that wasp is AoE mez. Looks like he is, perfect. So we're going to get this one. Send all that to you and leave the rest. All right, and we'll go ahead and pick up the snake. Perfect. When it works, it works really well. When it does not work, it's sad. <laughs> it's very sad when it doesn't work. And I could probably make it work with, uh, with, um, what you call it, highest boxer just moving some of these buttons around. Like, I have a spot here, and I have a spot here, but uh, I use all these, so I'd have to make her buttons like a different button, and it'd be a little bit tricky to get everything lined up the way I'd want, but I can probably make it work if I, if I want to. But I'm, I'm kind of liking this play style right now, so I don't know if I'll change it. All right, so... There's that name right there. Of course. Yes, guys, just attack me right away. All right, I don't know why she was not singing a song, but now she is. She must have been tanking or something. I don't know why that thing turned into a, uh... What is this? Alright, send it all to you. Nope. Send that to you. Send that to you. Nope. Send that to you. No. So it gets left. Alright, well that kind of solved that problem with the mob move. So we're going to get this wasp over here. There's a named cube over here too, so. It might be that one. Could be. No, it's a mulch cube. All right, let's just get it over here. That should free up what we want. Get that named in the next pull, maybe. We're at 51% into 90, so... Uh, we're gonna get, like, a lot of damage, right? So 90 was the level cap in the House of Thor, and then at 91, I think we're gonna start doing a little bit way more damage, because the level cap goes up to 95 in the next expansion. So when we hit that, it will... Uh, Theoretically, help us out. We'll start, I'll be able to start buying the discipline from Vale and all that stuff. And I don't know. We'll see. But mob actually running. I don't like it. Let's get the named. And let's go with speed discipline, just burn this thing down. There we go. We don't have any stamina, so I'm gonna need to do a little bit of a med break sooner or later. Deal with that. Uh, we got a legs, I got tons of legs. Uh, good gag. Congratulations on your new bag. There's the named bag over. <laughs> named bag. Named cube over there. And then, uh, next episode, we're gonna go into the whale. <laughs> the whale. The well. And, uh, do a crawl through there. I don't think we did it with Tawani, but, uh, if we did, we're gonna do it again. So I don't remember all the places we went in that series. All right. I guess this is a thing. Gonna possibly fight three or four at once. 
because the mercenary ran to it versus letting it come to us. Alright, that one's down. Let's see if we can pull this one. Nope, we got them both. I'm just going to go for the name first. I think it's a hard name. see it doing any real damage and I've been thinking about rolling some of these burn th buttons up into uh, a little bit better organization just so good. oh yeah here's the fist we farmed up I think we're actually using it now aren't we yeah we're using that right now it's lore so I gotta send it to Ketka but uh yeah we we spent a while trying to get that I think anyway. We, we spent a little while on some of this stuff, but I can't remember. Alright, so it looks like there's another named up on the other side over there. The dog, and then uh, that kind of gets us where we want to be. Let's grab this guy. Everything is looking good now. I'm just gonna not do any abilities, <laughs> just do auto attack for a few here. Try to get a little regeneration going on. And we'll do five breaths. And. Do a respite. Should give us a little bit more. And we'll just auto attack this guy and let uh, let everybody else do more damage. I mean, we do a lot of damage. Look at this. Like, I'm hitting for anywhere between a thousand and twenty five hundred normally. The bard is hitting anywhere from two hundred to a thousand. So, like, I'm doing nothing. It's like not a, a downside for them. All right, we can leave that. Right, and that is the only other named I see in the general area. Oh, Crocom's up! All right, all right, all right. This episode is gonna go long. <laughs> this episode is gonna go long. Crocom is up. We're gonna go get him. I wonder. Hold on. So bards get a AOE or a group uh, in biz, but we don't have it yet. Never mind. It's ninety-one. I was gonna say I could just skip the, all this stuff. I'm gonna try that actually. We might be able to skip all this. I can use a uh, shaman's group in biz. Right. Got ka ill trash. And one more. Go back to. I really need a stop song macro. I don't know why I don't have one on this character. Alright, stop songs. Group silent presence. Oh, that already caught us in different. Oh, everything sees in this. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get around that guy, maybe. 
the rot dogs can see in viz, so. It's a rot dog over here. All right, well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. So let's get, get our songs going. These rot dogs are probably in viz, so. Or not in viz, but uh, undead. So they can see us. But should be able to get around some of this other stuff. The uh, the bard song actually does invis and see uh, undead invis at the same time, so it's a little bit nice in that regard. Let's see if we can make it over here. I'm just trying to skip as much of this as we can. Of course, we get attacked by another mob. Does everybody have this dagger now? I don't even know if you can prelude any of that stuff either. So, uh, you know, it, it's always wise to grab all the quests when you zone into something for the first time. I have a lot of the quests, like from when we came here before, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna ever do them. Alright, what's this map look like? Alright, we can go down here. The Garden Sentinel's right there. Alright, here's a Thorn Frog. Let's kill this one. Come on. our way. Thorn frog. I think he's the one over there. Right. Looking good. Looking good. Damn it. We got mad. Must be hidden pretty hard. Thorn frog, oh god, come on. Alright, well, I mean I don't even know how that works. The wasp was not uh really that close. Is she not attacking? I mean, like, I don't know, it's just weird. There's Crocom right here. Let's go ahead and uh, kill him. And I don't see any other names. Got a petrified frog skull. <laughs> it's an earring for uh, tanks. Uh, we'll just go ahead and 
Loot that. For us. Alright. There we go. Let's make our way back over here to the uh, well zone. And we're going to end off there. And then we'll start in the well for the next episode. If we can actually get here without getting attacked. I don't think that's going to happen. And we did. I guess we could have just used our what you call it. All right, so there we go. We've gone all the way around the grounds, uh, almost twice, and uh, we got most of the names that we were missing. There's like one or two more that you know I'll pick up probably on a named you know day or something like that whenever I'm bored. Uh, but uh, rather, other than that, we are good. That is the grounds. Uh, next episode, we're going to do a crawl through the uh, the well, which is a significantly smaller zone, so it'll be a significantly shorter video. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a fantastic day.